All right, today I want to show you guys an updated version of how to install the Avada theme into your WordPress website. And so it's actually really, really simple to do that, uh, to install any kind of theme into, into WordPress. Basically, from your dashboard, you go to Appearance, you go to Themes right there. From here, you want to go to Upload. And then up, up here up top, go to Upload Theme and then you want to choose the file. So to get the file, you'll get the Avada theme through the ThemeForest Marketplace. Uh, you just go to your downloads. So go here to Avada, download all files and documentation. I have it down here already, the ThemeForest zip. So you want to go ahead and unzip that. Once you've up, um, unzipped it, go to Avada theme and then choose Avada zip right there, okay? So if you come back here, choose file, that's exactly where you get from, Avada zip, and then open. Okay, now here's the big issue. Once you do that, you just hit install now. Uh, it'll take a, a couple minutes to actually do that, and then it'll give you a, a success page, and you just simply activate it. But one of the common problems that a lot of people will get when they're trying to install Avada is they'll get this page. This says, are you sure you want to do this? Please try again. And I get people asking me all the time, how do you actually fix this? So I'm going to show you, uh, I'm with Bluehost, and I'll show you from the cPanel how you can fix that. And it should be very similar with a lot of other hosting companies as well. So from your cPanel, I'm here in Bluehost. What you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to your file manager. And from here, go ahead and click on the public HTML. Go ahead and expand that. I'm going to do it for this website. Expand that. And then also go ahead and click on WP Includes. And I want you to click on that file. You don't have to necessarily drop it down. It'll automatically do that. But come on over here, and I want you to scroll down to Default Constants PHP. Just highlight that, do a right click, and Code Edit. And then go ahead and hit Edit. Now I just want to tell you, you want to be very careful right here. You could screw up your website if you're not careful. But one of the most common problems with uploading Avada is the fact that it runs out of memory. And so uh, by default with Bluehost, your uh, WP memory limit, as you can see right here, is set to 64 and 40. So what you want to do, they actually recommend that you set that to 256. So just go ahead and highlight that, type in 256 for both of these and then go up here to the top right and click save and that's it if you'll do that and then go ahead and try again from this page right here uh, you should ha actually have no problems installing Avada that will be set up so you uh, you won't have any future issues uh, really simple fix. Uh, again, I get a lot of people asking me this all the time. How is it that you can uh, bypass this or correct that? And that's it. You just do that simple little step and you're all set to go. So if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment below. Um, otherwise, please subscribe and uh, you know give me a thumbs up. Uh, appreciate it.